Good morning, guys. So today we are going to look at reported speech on page 73. You will see it's on the same page as the question forms. I just want to inform you all the activities that you have to do for reported speech will be on this PowerPoint. There's nothing in your textbook. So I added more information, um, just like the question forms. So let's start. So what is reported speech? You will see I add a little definition for you. Reported speech is used to report what someone said. Normally, we use reported speech in our daily lives. For example, when your mother tells you something, but your brother or your sister did not hear, when they ask you, what did mom and dad say? And then you will um, report their speech that they told you. So we do not use the speaker's exact words. Quickly look at this example. Um, think about it when you are sitting in class. Miss Prinsler will say, take out your workbooks. So those are my direct words, which is direct speech. Then Megan will ask, what did Miss Prinsler say? Because she might not have heard. And then Mary will answer Megan's question. Miss Princess said that we should take out our workbooks. So that is reported speech. So Mary said what I said in class. Okay, let's look at this example of reported speech. This is the table that you will see on page 73 in your textbooks. So the first thing, reported speech you will see the direct speech is did you complete your homework if somebody did not hear my question they will um, hear the reported speech from someone else for example the teacher asked if I had completed my homework now the direct speech of the sales lady think about it when you are in the shops are you looking for another size maybe your mom did not hear what the sales lady asked you and you will report the speech back to her by saying the sales lady asked if i was looking for another size excellent so that is reported speech so with reported speech, we have to know the difference between direct and indirect speech. So let's go look at the direct speech. So direct speech has quotation marks, a comma, and a full stop. You will always know that this is direct speech. So when direct speech is used, you are quoting people's direct words. Let's look at the example at the end of the slide. Miss Prinsler says, take out your books. So when you have to change this sentence into direct speech, it will look as follows. Miss Prinsler says, comma, quotation marks, take out your books, full stop and end your quotation marks. This is the format you will follow everywhere. Now let's look at indirect speech. So with indirect speech, we do not use a comma or quotation marks. All we have is a full stop because at the end of each sentence, you guys tell me all the time, we use a full stop. So look at bullet number two. When you use indirect speech, it is when you repeat someone's direct words. So look at the direct speech. Miss Prinsler says, comma, quotation mark, take out your books, full stop, in the quotation marks. With indirect speech, you take that away and it will be Miss Prinsler says, we should take out our books. An uh, important thing to remember, Look at my mouse here. Miss Prinsler says, Miss Prinsler says. If the direct speech starts with that sentence, your indirect speech will also start with 
third sentence. So here's a few sentence examples from direct speech to indirect speech. It says, she says, I eat an apple a day. Indirect speech, she says that she eats an apple a day. So with indirect speech, you remove the comma and the quotation marks. Number two, he will say, my brother will help her. Again, look at the sentences, they say the same. He will say that his brother will help her. Remember with indirect speech, it's not just the beginning that stays the same. You will always put in the word that. Now, we said we go for a walk every day. We said, same, that we went for a walk every day. So guys, here we are starting with your activities. So reported speech, write the following sentences into reported speech. You have number A to number E. The next activity, you will do three activities. The next one is direct speech. It says write the following sentences into direct speech. What you should remember here is to use a comma, quotation marks, and a full stop. Also number A to number E. And then the last one is indirect speech. Write the following sentences into indirect speech. What you should remember here is you only use a full stop, so you remove your commas and your quotation marks, and you insert the word that. So quickly look at number A. It says, he said, comma, quotation mark, I live in the city center, full stop, in the quotation marks. So it will be as follow. He said that he lives in the city center because you are saying his direct word. Okay, guys, so that's that for this lesson. I hope you have a lovely day and I can't wait to see you at school.